Yeah, that's the way to do it. Didier's joining in as well. And a really in Dan's glancing little header is too good for Yevrich. Shot is through, deflected, and he's going to give another penalty. It's the second they've had, they might have had three, but Senor Rodriguez points to the spot for the second time. Well, Dindan's on a hat-trick, Bonaventure Kalu is asking for the ball though, Dindan's saying, please can I have it? And this is another handball by the same man who handled it the first half, Dudic. Bubakar Barry Copa can't bear to watch, he's left kissing one of the goalposts. And Bonaventure Kalu can strike Cote d'Ivoire into a lead. Can he? Is this his moment of fame? Bonaventure for him, and Bonaventure it is! Cote d'Ivoire, three. Serbia and Montenegro, two. Sensational stuff in Munich. Cote d'Ivoire did at least have a win to remember, but Serbia and Montenegro were disappointing. Their thrashing by Argentina placed the South Americans ahead of the Dutch on goal difference. Group D appeared straightforward, with Portugal and Mexico clear favourites against debutants Angola and outsiders Iran. Mexico, who themselves have won only 10 of their World Cup matches out of 41 in the finals, looking to improve on that record. And maybe here, Mexico score! The controversial selection from La Volpe, perfectly positioned, Mexico 1, Iran 0. Bravo by name and bravo by nature. Pardo, there's the header which really opened up Iran. From the right boot of Ali Karimi, and there's plenty of height on this one, and they're in trouble here, Iran will score dramatically. And it's the big, big defender, Yaya Golbo Hamadi, with the leveller. Magdevic. That was a shocking giveaway there. Oh, and that might be another one here. Have they let him in? Chance here for Bravo. He's got both goals today, he takes the salute, he's hobbling away, but he bet he doesn't feel any pain. Calamitous defending from Iran. They've got two, and they're looking for more to uh, really... Underline their supremacy, the crossing is good, three it is, it's Mexico's day, and Zinho! Mexico three, Iran one. Luis Figo, round Schwamba, Luis Figo, Pauletta! Set up by Luis Figo. And Portugal's all time record goal scorer adds to his score. Figo, he's got support from Nuno Valente, may not need him. It's Luis Figo. It's Deco! Oh, magnificent! Special goal from a special player. Game getting 
stretch now as Figo goes down. Referee says penalty. And I don't think there can be any doubt, can that? 21 year old Cristiano Ronaldo waits for referee Pular's whistle, composes himself and scores. And the boy from Madeira, who loves playing for his country as much as anyone, scores the penalty. Rafael Marquez. Canada cuts it out. Good touch by Shimao. Shimao goes to return. Elder Postigas and Mark down the middle. Shimao delayed. He's pulled it back brilliantly here. 1 0 to Portugal. Manis on target after five minutes. Shimao took the ball on and on and on. Who was marking Manis? Nobody. Are they dancing? Luis Figo. I think that's a penalty. The referee spotted some pushing and shoving going on. And he is impervious to any Mexican complaints. Handball. We're midway through the half. Portugal with a penalty and a chance to make it 2 0. Simao makes it 2 0. Maybe Portugal have just taken their eye off the game slightly with this 2 0 advantage. Fonseca in the middle there. Pardo takes it, flicked on and flicked in. Fonseca! It's Mexican's spin-up boy. Lovely flick there by Fonseca. And Loco for Angola. And for Guerrero. Zekalanga with his pace once more. Flavio's in the middle. It's Flavio, it's aimed for. And it's Flavio who scores! It's their first ever World Cup Finals goal. And who knows? Who knows? Is this the cue? for a quite sensational story to unravel here in Leipzig. Marga Vickia standing over it, poised. Cool in the shadows. Oh, and it's a heartbreaker! Bakhtia Razade has turned it in. And maybe with the goal, Angola's chances of progressing have disappeared. Angola's good showing almost upset the odds, but Mexico did manage the runners-up spot, while Portugal's 100% record sent a clear message to the rest of the world. P was arguably the closest to call. Italy were marginal favourites, but the Czech Republic, Ghana and the United States looked hard to separate. Totti lays it short, where Pirlo has taken up position unnoticed and can drive it in for a sensational goal. Six minutes before half-time, Italy have the breakthrough.
and it was a quality strike from Andrea Perla from that range and with so little to aim for that was a terrific goal not everybody thinks so though it's a good start so far by the Italians but the Ghanaians still have plans to spoil the Azure's party here tonight but not with play like that here Quinta here Quinta Kufor slip here Quinta rounds the goalkeeper it's a win for Italy now surely Samuel Kufor is absolutely inconsolable and he'll remember this moment for the rest of his life and for all the wrong reasons so will Kufor Poborski Rigera start for the Czech Republic Brigueras probing cross right onto the head of Jan Kola they're very easy on the eye Nedviet Rosicki oh! a delightful move here by the Czech Republic. He knew exactly where he was placing that ball. Rosicki. Nedviet. And Rosicki. Is this goal number three for the Czech Republic? Was there ever any doubt? Another breathtaking move by the Czech Republic. Ends with Rosicki claiming his second goal of the game. It'll be an Andrea Pirlo free kick for the Italian side. And he'll try and curl it away from the keeper. Brilliant goal! Italy lead here and Alberto Giladino does what he couldn't do in the Champions League. He flies in with the header. It's his first World Cup goal for his country. It's Italy 1, USA 0. Here's a chance. Sliced into his own goal. Surely it's an own goal by Zaccardo. And he cannot believe it. Well, there's always a faint smile on his face. And a, a ringing of the wrists. What an unlikely way for Team America to strike back. How extraordinary. Zaccardo seems to lose concentration almost. Czech beats it away. It was a tricky corner kick, very close to the goalkeeper. And Czech was no, taking no chances at all. Appiah. And an opening here for Ghana, who scores! Jan is on target, picked out by his captain. African football is in delirium here. Jan's the man. Appiah directing operations. No offside, Jan, Appiah, Jan. Montari. Oh, he's beaten check now. That was unstoppable by Montari. It appears Ghana are going to win this game. The Czechs appealed for offside, and this time there was nothing better Czech could do. Roma legend Totti will take this. And Terazzi! He's only been on from the bench for a matter of moments. And Marco Materazzi, his first ever Italian goal. And what a stage to score it. 
not only the injury to Nesta that saw him brought onto the field, but it was a great finish here.